Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 17 of 2019, endorsing Bahrain's joining the international agreement on liability for damage caused by space objects. His Majesty also ratified and issued Law 18 of 2019, endorsing the agreement between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia governments in the field of air transport services. His Majesty also ratified and issued Law 19 of 2019 endorsing the agreement on international land passenger cargo transportation signed between Bahrain and the UAE government. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at the Bia Palace. After this session, the Cabinet Secretary General, Dr. Yasser al Nasser, issued the following statement. The cabinet strongly condemned the attack on the Bahraini embassy in Baghdad, which violated the most basic rules and diplomatic norms and contravenes all international conventions and treaties. It also expressed appreciation for the Iraqi government's position towards the attack and the measures it took to provide the necessary protection, affirming its pride in the depth of relations between the two brotherly countries and their keenness to promote them at all levels. The meeting expressed thanks and appreciation to the Shura and Representatives Councils for positively addressing attempts that aim to stir up strife in the Bahrain society and disrupt unity through systematic media campaigns. The cabinet praised the stances of the two councils, which embody national responsibility and reflect the values of loyalty. The session also hailed the Isa Award for Service to Humanity for encouraging humanitarian work and highlighting the outstanding achievements in the service of humanity at the global level at its role in commemorating the work of the great leader who served the humanity, the late Prince Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The meeting also commended the role of the awards board of trustees headed by Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa and the role played by the awards board of trustees and the judges. The meeting also congratulated the EDHI Foundation in Pakistan for winning the award, wishing them further success. An implementation of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to review the mechanisms of applying fees and the necessity of for considering citizens' needs, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa directed to cancel the fees of 200 government services and 10 government authorities and to waive 220 additional government services from VAT. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince directed to continue efforts to increase the efficiency of government work and develop services provided to citizens according to the highest satisfaction rates. His Royal Highness reviewed the performance indicators in the national system for suggestions and complaints to Wassel during the first half of 2019. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince thanked the government entities which have complied with the system service level agreement and requested that all government entities maintain this high level of service delivery. The cabinet reviewed the multilateral competence authority agreement on the exchange of country by country reporting in line with the Kingdom of Bahrain's recognition of the OECD's inclusive framework on base erosion and profit shifting and the convention on mutual administrative assistance and tax matters. The cabinet also discussed the aspects of benefiting from the experience that volunteers gain, including it in the experience that supports volunteer CVs when applying for work. The cabinet also approved a memorandum of understanding between Bahrain and the UAE in the field of protecting and developing wildlife. The MOU establishes a framework for the exchange of information and environmental conversation, rather conservation. The cabinet approved a proposal to develop the junctions in Mahzura Avenue and Rafah as part of the kingdom's strategic road network plan designed to further improve the workflow of traffic across the kingdom. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pleasure for the achievement of the Bahraini athlete Ian Fernandino who won the Ironman European Championship in Frankfurt, Germany. His Highness said that this achievement affirms a special place that the Bahraini team holds in European and world tournaments. He added that the achievement offers an incentive to carry on in supporting the team through its engagement with the tournaments around the world and said that the team is performing according to a well-studied plan which the members of the team are applying faithfully. His Highness praised the level of performance that the Bahraini athletes have delivered who are keen to achieve the best possible results, affirming that Ian Fernandino winning the first title proves the capabilities of the team on the international level. He congratulated the winner and wished all the team members success. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, held the efforts exerted to support innovation in artificial intelligence. 
His Highness noted that these efforts contribute to the implementation of the objectives that are in line with Bahrain Vision 2030, which is based on supporting and encouraging students to acquire new scientific concepts and modern technological means which develop their levels and increase their abilities. His Highness Sheikh Khalid stated that the establishment of the Artificial Intelligence Academy at Bahrain Polytechnic is a qualitative step to accelerate the integration of artificial intelligence disciplines in the educational system in the kingdom, which is the first of its kind in the region and the Middle East. In line with His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa's vision for innovation in artificial intelligence, Bahrain Polytechnic and Tamkeen have signed an agreement that aims to support Bahrain Polytechnic's Artificial Intelligence Academy. The agreement provides support and rehabilitation for 60 university and schools students and their teachers, an integrated approach that includes artificial intelligence, data science, data analysis, and the basics of machine learning. The signing ceremony was attended by Bahrain Polytechnic's Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdul Aziz Al Khalifa, and Tamkin CEO, Dr. Ibrahim Mohammed Janahi. The agreement was signed by CEO of Bahrain Polytechnic, Dr. Jeff Zabitsky, in the presence of the General Manager of Microsoft Bahrain and Saif Al Hosseini from Amman as a representative of the company in implementing the project. The Bahrain National Boxing Tournament was held under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which was organized by the Bahrain National Boxing Federation at the Bahrain Table Tennis Hall in Isa Sports City. Among those who greeted His Highness at the sides of the competition was member of the Bahrain Olympic Committee's Executive Board and the President of the Bahrain Boxing Federation Khalid Abdul Aziz Al Khayyat and member of the Bahrain Olympic Committee's Executive Board Faisal Khalid Kanu, as well as a number of affiliates of the Bahrain Federation for Mixed Martial Arts. His Highness affirmed that the Bahrain National Boxing Tournament represents a serious step towards forming a national boxing team, which His Highness issued directives to establish in accordance with His Highness's vision. He said that the support for boxing in Bahrain is a part of a broader vision through which His Highness hopes Bahrain will be represented regionally and internationally in the future. His Highness praised those who attended the tournament and expressed appreciation for the efforts of the Bahrain Boxing Federation and said that he looked forward to watching the sport grow in Bahrain and beyond. He watched the boxing matches of the tournament in which 50 boxers competed. The Minister of Health, Faiq bin Saeed al Saleh, received a delegation from the Canadian International Accreditation Services on the occasion of their visit to Bahrain to assess the level of services provided in primary care and submit a final report after the delegation completed evaluation and following up on all the standards and requirements for Canadian accreditation. She affirmed that the Ministry of Health is committed to implementing the directives and visions of His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to provide high quality health services, which is reflected in the Ministry achieving Canadian accreditation in the health care centre sectors for the third time with an evaluation of 99.1%. The Minister of Health commended the results of the evaluation, which reflects the continuous efforts of qualified work teams and national cadres. The Canadian delegation praised the level of health services provided in primary care, affirming that this achievement is added to Bahrain's record in terms of achieving comprehensive health coverage. 
A delegation from the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, headed by its president, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the opening of the 43rd World Heritage Committee session held in Baku, Azerbaijan. In the presence of the first vice president of Azerbaijan and goodwill ambassador of UNESCO, Mahriban Alivia and senior officials from organizations concerned with global heritage. The session will discuss the registration of a number of natural and cultural heritage sites on the list, including the Doma Cemetery, in addition to a number of meetings, workshops, and symposiums on world heritage. Sheikh Hamay expressed pleasure in attending this session. Bahrain is participating in the World Heritage Committee session as a member of the 21 Nation Committee. The office of the first deputy prime minister held a graduation ceremony yesterday to honor the fourth intake of the first deputy prime minister fellowship. The director general of the OFDPM, Sheikh Fahab bin Abdul Rahman Al Khalifa, noted that the FDPM fellowship is centered around achieving the aspirations of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, which aims to advance the youth's contribution of the kingdom's development. He said that the OFDPM has placed wide-ranging mechanisms to facilitate the attainment of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's vision for the program and highlighted that ever-increasing level of interest that the FDPM Fellowship receives from Bahrain's ambitious youth. He added that the FDPM Fellowship, since its launch in 2015, has succeeded in meeting its core objectives by equipping the fellows with the skills and knowledge they need to achieve operational efficiency in their workplaces. The Director General commended the fellows for their dedication to the year-long program, which saw them attend government executive committee meetings chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, visit various ministries and government entities, and explore a wide range of government-related projects. On behalf of the fellows, Khalid Fahad Al-Alawi of Tamkeen delivered a speech in which he extended the fellows' gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for supporting the program. He highlighted his rich experience at the FDPM Fellowship, noting that this unparalleled experience has broadened the fellows' knowledge and government work streams. Al-Alawi concluded by stating that each fellow has contributed towards achieving FDPM Fellowship's demanding requirements, reaffirming that they will continue to work as a team in achieving Bahrain's forward-looking development goals. The Director General of the OFDPM awarded the fellows with certificates, marking the successful completion of the program. The star of the fellowship was awarded the Sufyan al Hasha from the National Audit Office. Under the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the committee concerned with the study of death of citizens in public walkways held its first meeting under the chairmanship of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Assistant Secretary General Dr. Abdul Rahman Asker. The meeting was attended by representatives from the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunication, the Electricity and Water Affairs Authority, the Ministry of Forks, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, and the Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Cardiac Center. Dr. Asker stressed the interest of Hazana Sheikh Nasser to find out the causes of death in public walkways and highlighted the cooperation of all parties to study these cases, as well as developing a plan to follow the administrative and technical procedures and the requirements of public safety, which will be discussed during the next meeting before submitting a report to His Highness.